I, I, te I teach undergraduates and graduate students. Mm -hmm. Some of the courses I, I offer, are, offer are open to both. Oh. Um, in the last, over the last three years, about three quarters of my teaching have been courses in quantitative methods and statistics, mm -hmm. data analysis methods and statistics. And mm -hmm. I teach, I teach a uh, 4,000 level course that has both graduate students and undergraduates in, in mm -hmm. it. And I also, I also the students, some, some of the courses, the graduate, the graduate students who take the courses are from all over the university. Mm -hmm. They're from, they're, they're from, from, from SEPA, Teachers College, mm -hmm. uh, Sociomedical Sciences, Public Health, mm -hmm. School Social Work, so mm -hmm. I, and, and, and a lot of the master's programs mm -hmm. in, uh, in the social science, in political science and quantitative methods, quantitative, mm -hmm. uh, the quantitative methods for the social sciences, master's degree program, mm -hmm. in addition to undergraduates. In the 4,000 level course, and then I teach a 3,000 level course introductory course on, 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 on data analysis and statistics for political science mm -hmm. research that's undergraduates only. Okay. And what do you think, as a professor, what's the most important thing you can do for, for students or when you're teaching them? Oh, I mean, well, the, the, I mean, the, the most important thing is, is, is to um, kind of, well, once they're in the class, to kind of mot 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 motivate them to kind of um, kind of stay in the class mm -hmm. and, and you know learn about the application of quanti quantitative methods mm -hmm. uh, to show the usefulness of it to, sh to show that the methods aren't simply um, you, um, you know mechanical statistical mm -hmm. methods that you apply in a vacuum but rather they're methods that are employed to answer research questions mm -hmm. so so you start not with the statistics you start with the research question you want to examine mm -hmm. and then proceed that to proceed to figure out how you're going to answer that question using quantitative Mm -hmm. quantitative approaches. And in particular, the, the most interesting kinds of questions are questions that involve um, narratives or stories about cause and effect relationships. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I try to do is, is, to, is to show how data could be utilized and statistical methods can be applied to kind of uh, uh, gain some insight about the possibilities of uh, you know, reaching conclusions about how some variable X affects some variable, mm -hmm. you know, some variable Y. Mm -hmm. um, Relevant to politics or relevant to anything that they might be relevant to anything might be interested. So it's the motivational part, and, and then also a big part of it is sort of confidence building to show to show the students, particularly those who are not so mathematically and statistically inclined, mm -hmm. that uh, you know th 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 this kind of work is is, is doable. Mm -hmm. And as they start doing it, they kind of build confidence, and uh, um, and the, the proof of, you know the, the, the proof of, of how well I'm doing is to what extent the students then go on to take other courses mm -hmm. beyond the ones that I offer. I offer a two-semester sequence, so students take both courses. Mm -hmm. I often take both courses, and then the big question is, will they do any more? Mm 